b phi. So what's a? How do we write a grammar for a for just all zeros? Zero. And then you go back and you do a again. And then you end it off with what? How do you make that a disappear sooner or later? You get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Right, and epsilon's good. Excellent. And now what about the b part? The b part's got to be 1 to the m, 0 to the m. Right, so it's a similar. Oh, 1 to the m, 0 to the m. Right. Yeah, so you're going to have two other symbols like uh, c and d, I guess. Oh, oh I see. I think we, we, we could do that, but we don't need to do anything so complicated. Um, we can just do this like we did the 0 to the n, 1 to the n at the beginning of the day, where you have a 1 at the beginning and a 0 at the end, and everything in the middle is the same kind of thing. Cool. Okay, and then so again, it, here's one grammar that does all the zeros, here's another grammar that does 1 to the n, 0 to the n, and now we concatenate them together to get a grammar that does things that start with one and ends with the other. So concatenations close, and that works out. Why am I doing this big example, this one and this one? What's the intersection between these two sets? This is a context-free language. We came up with a grammar for it. This is a context-free language. We came up with a grammar for it. What's their intersection? What do these two sets have in common? The, no, they do have things in common. They have, these have things where these sets are equal, and this can be any number. This has sets where these two are equal, and this can be any number. So what do they have in common? Do you know, Teresa? Is it n equally to q? Yeah. I'll call it m. I'll call it triple m. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's things, well, not can't call it that. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> now I call it that. Right, it means that these two have to be the same from this side. The second two have to be the same from that side. So all three have to be the same are the only things that are in common with all of these. Is this context free? No, that's what this language was supposed to. Well, you took my word for it. It's not context free. We needed a context sensitive grammar to do it. But it's also the intersection of two context free languages. So are context-free languages closed under intersection? No. So are they closed under complement? No, because they're closed under union for sure. If they were closed under union and complement, then they'd be closed under intersection. So context-free grammars are closed under concatenation, closed under union, not closed under complement, not closed under intersection. It doesn't mean that if you take the complement of a context-free language that it's definitely not context-free. It might be. It might not be. Hey, I wonder if you just give me a grammar and you ask me if its complement is context-free, if I could figure that out. <laughs> no. You can't figure that out. Is the complement of a grammar context-free or not? You can't figure it out. Some are. The complement of 0 to the n, 1 to the n is context-free. The complement of palindromes is context-free. Palindromes are context-free. Strings that are the same, the first part is the second part, strings that look like this, not context-free. Can't make a context-free language for this. The complement of this, strings that are not the first part the same as the second part, yes, context-free. There's some really interesting results, and we'll get into them later when we talk about machines. But this pretty much gives you the whole grammar part of this next level. So we're going to finish this up next time. We need to talk about special forms of this grammar, Chomsky normal form. That'll help us with three specific things that come up later. It's hard to take an arbitrary context-free grammar and work with it. It's nicer to make it in a particular form. We'll learn how to take any one of these context-free grammars, make it in a particular form, and that'll help us do three or four more things that'll help us move over to the machines and continue exploring this, this next level.